<laughs> I don't know when these women are going to finally catch on and learn that we are dealing with a new breed of grown man today, okay? But the sooner that you all catch on and learn this, the better off you will be. See, a lot of the women of today really believe that men are these superficial and surface level type of creatures, but they're not. Men now are looking for true, deep, meaningful connections and relationships. They're not playing games with y'all females no more. And so many of these women today are so accustomed to men being shallow and surface level and only focused on the physical that it really had them in this box to where they felt like they didn't have to bring much else to the table besides their looks, besides X, you know, besides the physical. But now that men have again raised their standards raise the bar, are acting in their grown man essence. These women cannot handle it. They cannot take it. They're like, damn, so you mean to tell me I have to actually be a woman that can add on to your life in a positive way outside of the physical? You mean to tell me you're looking for a woman that can be complimentary to your whole entire life? You mean to tell me I have to be you know, the type of woman that is ready and willing to learn and be receptive to information. You know, I have to be a, a loving, supportive, nurturing woman. I got to do all of these things now. I just can't pull up with my body and that be enough. No, absolutely not. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. We got to break it down today, baby. A lot of these women today did not get the memo. They did not know that men today are looking for things of true value and substance. Let's be clear, you all. X is extremely easy today. And y'all know what we mean when we say X, okay? We got to watch out. X is extremely easy and accessible today. And due to a lot of women being just so thirsty, right? Men can come about that a dime a dozen. So now that we're starting to see men wake up and say, you know what? That's something that I can get from anybody. But what I can't just get from any and everybody is somebody that I feel truly understands me truly respects me, truly values me, a woman that I can relate to, a woman that will be a great assistant or a great support to my life. Like, like that is what I really need to hone in on and be in search of. Not that ass, okay? Again, I can get that a dime a dozen. That's easy, right? A lot of y'all are, are so desperate. Let's go here. And I'm sorry, I'm just being real. A lot of y'all are so desperate. Men can pay for that. But what you can't pay for, again, is that genuine, true, uh, meaningful connection and experience of being with somebody that truly understands you, truly loves you, values you, you know, wants to appreciate what you do for them, wants to uh, reciprocate and pour back into what you are doing for them. That right there, that's what men are looking for. And so when we come across chicks like this, and again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe, okay? When we come across chicks like this that are now begging, yes, begging for men to touch them, um, you're, you're begging for a man to, you know, just treat you like, I don't know, a piece of meat. I mean, th this is crazy to me. You are, to be honest, like for so long, these chicks have been begging for men to have more depth to them. They've been begging for men to, you know, see them outside of just X. 
And now that men are actually trying to establish true, meaningful connections, y'all can't handle that either. And, and that's what I'm saying. Like, so many of us know not what we ask for. We know not, you know, what we are getting involved with. Because here we have men today like, okay, yeah, y'all were right. In so many words, ladies, y'all were right. We do need to, you know, figure out what type of character this woman is first. We do need to figure out, you know, if we are compatible in ways outside of the bedroom. Yeah, y'all were right about that. Let me do that. And now that men have actually, you know, taken those extra steps to do that, what it did was expose the fact that a lot of y'all don't have nothing much to offer outside of that. So again, you knew not what you asked for, man. You told men to pay more attention to your mentality your personality, your character, what you were about, your morals, your values. And when they did that, they came to realize that it was nothing much to you. And not only did they realize that, you realized that as well, ma'am. You're like, well, damn shit. Oh, well, all I really got is X. Yeah, I really, I, I'm really not about much. I really don't have much to offer a man outside of that. And so now that men are on their grown man status and they're actually, you know, in search for something deeper and more meaningful. Now y'all want them to, you know, go back to being blind, deaf and dumb. Uh, uh. Don't pay attention to who I am as a woman. You know, let's go back to just the physical. Men can't go back to sleep anymore, ladies. Again, y'all were right. We were so blinded by the physical that we were setting ourselves up for failure. And look at y'all now, ladies, refusing to develop yourself as a woman, as far as your mentality is, is concerned, your um, personality is concerned, your character. And you don't have nothing to offer to these men. And so now the men don't want anything to do with you. If you cannot bring any value to my life outside of the bedroom, I'm not even going to touch you. Men are on that level now. Because I'll be down if I get caught up in the moment because she had a nice body or because I was um, corny. And y'all know what we're trying to say. We got to watch out for you too, y'all, okay? We can't say corny with an H instead of the damn C, okay? Come on. And then, before you know it, I impregnated this girl, and she's not somebody that I would want to spend the rest of my life with. She's not somebody I would want to raise a child with, and I'm stuck. So we're dealing with a new breed of man, grown man, to where they're like, you know what? If you're not meeting these standards, these qualifications, you won't even get the damn penetration. And since so many of you chicks out there are not hitting on the standards or meeting the standards that these men are looking for, you're not getting the pain either, man. Hell no, nah, I'm not penetrating and getting deeply involved with a female that I can't relate to or does not respect me or, you know, it's just nothing of what I would look for character wise for a woman to be. No, I'm not doing it. And boy, oh boy, are y'all feeling the, the effects of that. This chick right here is literally begging for a man to touch her. Seriously. Men are wanting to establish connections first, ladies. But since y'all have nothing to offer to have a deeper connection with, now you're frustrated. I don't have a good personality and my mentality is screwed and I'm not a good woman and I'm not none of that. So just give me the pain. Tragic. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into this. When I came across this, I said, wow. Wow. 
But I thought that's what y'all wanted. I thought y'all wanted men to be more affectionate. I thought y'all wanted men to be, you know, more deep as far as establishing a connection with you and not just hitting it and quitting it. What happened, sis? You Now you just want to be hit and quit. Girl, please. This is this is crazy. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Let's get into it. These today dudes got me feeling like I'm a man. It's the gatekeeping sausage for me. This one dude, my age, right? I'm calling him up. Hey, you want to come through? He's talking about some, we going to snuggle, we ain't going to smash. That's my line. Are you gay? I don't have a problem with it. I, I don't have a problem with it. But if you're gay, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because why are you still in my line? I don't want to snuggle with you. I want you to break my back in. And I want you to go home. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. I be feeling like I got to take them to dinner first. Open up their car door. Have meaningful conversations before I get what I actually want. Why do I feel like the man in 2023? I feel like I'm role playing in a play that I don't want to be in. That's crazy. This is worse than I thought. This is worse than I thought. See, you have men out here trying to establish a meaningful connection with you, not make you feel like a piece of meat and everything. And you got chicks out here that are like, no, treat me like a piece of meat. You know, no, I, I don't want you to, you know, wine and dine me and snuggle me and get to know me, but I don't want none of that. I just want you to hit it and then split it. That's all I want. So uh, y'all are making it even worse. Females like this are making it even worse for the chicks today. Because not only are the men turned off by these type of interactions now, right? Because again, I need something more deep. I don't want just a, a chick that I, I can smash and dash. Like that comes a dime a dozen. Men, men are actually looking for healthy relationships. They want to know that y'all are actually compatible, that you actually are into me for who I am as a man first. But then on top of that, this type of chick is setting women all the way back because what about the women out there that are looking for more deeper, meaningful connections? She's giving the wrong message to men of, hey, don't talk to me. Don't, don't try to quote unquote court me. Don't try to get to know me. Don't date me. You know, I, I don't want to have a conversation. I don't want to get to know you. I, I just want you to hit it and split it and quit it. Wow, this is worse than I thought. She's really out here advocating for men to dog women out. But I thought, ladies, that's what you were trying to get away from. This is trash. This is worse than I thought. This is worse than I thought. She's like, oh, no, like, yeah, I feel like I need to, you know, go on a date with you and have a conversation. I don't, I don't want none of that. I just want you to blow my back out and go. Wow. This is your queen, ladies. This is what y'all are signing up for in 2023. Y'all are signing up to be hit and quit. But I thought that's what you were trying to get away from. But see, now that men are requiring you to offer more to them and you can't, now you just want them to go back to being dogs. Wow. Let's play this again. Y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let, let's break this down. These today dudes got me feeling like I'm a man. It's the gatekeeping sausage for me. Now, she says these guys of today have her feeling like she's a man. This is a common mistake that a lot of these females make. They equate being a trash dog ninja with being a man, a, a true quality man. See, true quality men, they do want to establish a, a rapport with you, a relationship with you, a connection with you first. They want to get to know you first. It's these dogs that y'all love to be with, to try to convert over into men that just want to hit and quit. 
that don't care about establishing anything. So let's correct that first, man. Men don't act like how you're acting. Dogs do. Little boys do. The hits and quits do. So let, let, let's get that straight first. Now, as far as the men of today gatekeeping the sausage, well, that's because there have been a lot of chicks out there that have used, uh, let's put it like this, the sausage um, in the wrong ways, right? A lot of chicks have just been plotting on getting the man for the sausage so that she can find a way to try to finesse him out of his money by way of a child, right? Finesse him out of his resources by way of putting a snapper on him. Let's be clear and let's be real. In the past, a lot of women were able to try to finesse a man by getting at work to him. I'm going to blow your mind so much so that you're going to be all the way open with me, especially that wallet, all right? Especially that access. I'm going to blow your mind. And so men have, again, caught on to that and have come to the realization of, hold on, let me be mindful with my sausage. Let me be careful with my sausage. Let me be highly selective of who I give the sausage link to. And since men have done that, a lot of you females out there today cannot handle that because that's the only way that you know to finesse a man. So, sorry, ma'ams. Men are being selective. Men are moving strategically and wisely with the pain. If you want access to these men in those ways, especially romantically and physically, you have got to step your game up. You have got to be the type of woman that they are looking for you to be. Men are no longer just penetrating any old fling just to get one off. No, you have to be of quality. It's a lot at stake when men are out here having ex. Okay? They realize that. I got a lot on the line when I do that, so I better be careful. I don't want to just be out here, you know, sticking it in any old Jane Doe just to get my rocks off. And then before you know it, I have a child that has a mother that I don't even like. Or I'm getting finessed by this chick because she got me so souped up from what she did to the peen that I can't even think straight or correctly. You know? So again, yeah, men today, grown men status. They ain't got time for it. If you're not coming correct, I won't get erect. Amen. Bars. Let's continue. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. This one dude, my age, right? I'm calling him up. Hey, you want to come through? He talking about some, we going to snuggle, we ain't going to smash. That's my line. Are you gay? I don't have a problem with it. I, I don't have a problem with it. But if you're gay, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Now, this pisses me off. All right. This really pisses me off. Now, I don't know how old she is, but she doesn't look extremely old. So, you know, what we can conclude from that is she's dealing with younger men out here, young men out here that again are moving more strategically and wisely. See, we're so accustomed and used to men, especially younger men, just being out here willy nilly with it. You know, like who are you to be responsible? Who are you to, you know, be more disciplined? Oh my God, you're supposed to be young and dumb. No, men younger and younger are out here peeping game, analyzing things, and again, moving moving accordingly. And women can't handle that. They're used to men just being just careless, especially young men, okay? Now, what pisses me off is the fact that you have females out here using men being responsible against them. Oh, because I don't want to just F you 
I, I gotta be gay? Oh, because I just want to spend quality time with you, I gotta be gay? Because I want to get to know you? Because I don't want to hit and quit. That's trash. And I can't stand you females that's, that's like that. Y'all really pissed me off. I'm not going to lie to you. Then y'all wonder why men are out here dogging y'all out, hitting and quitting, and it's because females like you. That's why I said it's chicks like this that actually make matters worse for women. You really do. Oh, well, well, since they are gonna call me gay and they're gonna ridicule me and shame me, well, I'm just gonna start dogging them out because you know, that's what's gonna get notches on my belt and that's gonna make these women respect me. No, it's not. These females don't even count. I mean, look at her. No shade, no tea. She don't even count. Fellas, don't ever listen to a chick like this. This is a dog chick, all right? She has no respect for herself, let alone you. So you can't even really take what she's saying seriously in the first place. But nonetheless, you do have a lot of females out here who have this same sentiment. Oh, because he's being respectful, because he's... um being patient because he has self-discipline because he's trying to get to know me oh he he has to be gay you know or the pain must be small or you know he must be bad in bed because what kind of man would not want to go ahead and just get it on uh i don't know a grown man a responsible man a man that cares about not only you but himself Come on now, like what? Are we really going to shame men for being responsible? For being respectful? For trying to spend quality time? Really? Again, ladies, like what do y'all want? Do y'all want men to dog you out, hit and quit, or do you want respect? Do you want men to actually get to know you and court you and date you? Like what are y'all asking for? And see, that's also a huge problem today. A huge problem that we are also facing today is the fact that women don't know what the hell that they really want. There's so many mixed signals out here. So now you have guys out here that are saying, you know what, to hell with all of it, because either way you go, the, the chick going to give you hell. You try to respect her, she calls you gay. Right? Then when you just in it to, to hit it, she calls you a dog. She said, you're not no real man. Like, wh what do y'all want? So now we have more and more men just focusing on them damn selves, saying to hell with y'all, and I'll deal with you at my leisure or when I feel like it, and y'all can't handle that either. Y'all get mad at that too. Y'all know some real talk. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And it is females like this they give good quality women a bad name and a bad rap because look at what she is promoting. She is promoting the very culture that a lot of women are trying to escape. A lot of women are trying to get out of being in a rotation. A lot of women are trying to get into more healthy, stable situations and relationships. They're trying to establish good quality connections with men. But this... How? how? How can we really do that or get to that level when you have females like this talking about, oh, yeah, if you're trying to get to know me and talk to me and, you know, have conversation and, you know, just spend quality time, mm, I, can't, I can't do that. Mm -mm, something wrong with you. I think you gay. How can we get there if men are going to be ridiculed for stepping their games up, for respecting you? trash y'all females like this piss me off y'all are trash because why are you still in my line i don't want to snuggle with you i want you to break my back in i don't want you to go home don't let the door hit you where the good lord split you i be feeling like i gotta take them to dinner first open up their car door have meaningful conversations before i get what i actually want why do i feel like the man in 2023 i feel like i'm role playing in a play that I don't want to be in.
this is what we dealing with. We dealing with chicks like this that just mess it up. Y'all completely just mess it up. And it, it's really sad because here we have men out here trying to do things the right way and y'all still don't respect it. Y'all still, I mean, men, whether they do things the correct way or not, y'all y'all still don't appreciate it. Y'all still don't respect it. They, they still get dogged out. Like, just trash. Just trash. And I, I really do feel sorry for the quality women because women like this, hold on, let's pull it back. Women like this, are the reason seriously women like her are the reason why you will never get the love the support the respect from a man that you are looking for because she will make a man feel bad for treating a woman with class and decency and respect I feel like I gotta, you know, uh, take him to dinner first. I feel like I gotta open up his car door. What? Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, get that D. Shoot, j just, just give me that D and leave me alone. Just, really? Again, ladies, chicks like this, mess it up for you. Men today are on a whole different wavelength. I want to know who you are as a woman first. I want to know if our vibe is good. You know, like that is what men are doing today and women can't handle it. And the reason why we can't handle it is because we have nothing to offer these men outside of the physical. You know why she doesn't want to have a conversation? Because she can't carry one. You, you, you want to know why she just wants to get it on and, you know, tell you to leave? Because she wouldn't know what it truly takes to keep a man in the first place. And that's why. Oh, yeah, just leave because, you know, I don't know really how to keep you anyway. So, yeah, just, just give me the D and leave me alone. Well, men are leaving you alone, but no, you're not getting the D. No, 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 no. And I have been saying this. And I don't know if these chicks just thought I was lying, but I was telling the truth. When I said men are no longer even sleeping with you chicks, in today's time, because y'all are not coming correct, I meant that. Y'all thought I was just saying that, you know, to pander to men and stroke their egos. And No, 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 no. You're the one that's not getting stroked, ma'am. Whoopsie. I'm not stroking egos. I'm telling the truth. You're the one not getting stroked. Because you don't know how to truly establish a connection with the man outside of the bedroom. You don't. And because men have a lot more to offer to a woman, they are looking for women that have a lot more to offer them outside of X in return. Can you carry a conversation? Are you somebody that is, I don't know, intellectual? Are you somebody that has a good sense of humor? Are you somebody that I can relate to? Are you somebody that is easy to talk to? Do you listen? Do you know how to be quiet? Do you know how to take direction? Do you know how to take correction? You know, do you have a good sense of, sense of humor? Can I crack jokes with you? Like men are looking for all of those things when it comes to the type of woman that they want to get it on with. If you're not meeting these standards first oh no you you can you can just cancel christmas on the d uh-uh no and since we cannot keep up with these men now we are complaining 
Oh, why y'all don't, why y'all just don't want to touch us no more? Why, why I can't just get the D? Like, I get it. I get it. I know, but can I just, can I still at least get the D? I know I ain't ish. I know I can't talk to you or relate to you or, you know, do nothing to really keep you around. I know I can't cater to you. I can't love you how you need to, but can I please just still get the D? No. That's a liability, baby. Men have peep game on. Having your peen out here everywhere, slanging it every which way, that is a liability. That can get you in very compromising positions that I'm not trying to be a part of. So let me establish something with this woman first. Let me get to know her first. Let me see what she's about first. And y'all can't handle that. A lot of y'all just hot and vibing. It's a new day and age. It's a new breed of grown man. And y'all cannot take it. Now y'all begging like Jodeci. Baby, I'm begging, baby, I'm begging, begging, baby. Sorry. Can't have it. You're not what I'm looking for. Obviously. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Uh, are you a guy out here that is being more disciplined and wise and strategic with the women that you are laying with? Y'all let me know. As a matter of fact, let me take a poll real quick. Put a one in the chat if you are the guy that is like, look, I need to establish some kind of connection with a woman first. I got to get to know her first before I just give her this pain. Put a two in the chat if it's like, it ain't that deep to me. You know, if we kicking it, yeah, she can still get it, you know. But from what I've been observing, a lot of guys are leaning more towards, no, I need something a lot more substantial. I need something a lot more meaningful because, yeah, just going out here slanging pain to all these different females, it, it, it's getting us in a lot of trouble. So, yeah, not no more. No mas. But y'all let me know, okay? Y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe, and most importantly, hit that notification bell. That way you all can be alerted for future dope discussions. And remember, ladies, okay? Men are a new breed today. They're on the grown man status. And if you cannot measure up, he won't measure up either. Peace.